Welcome to News 9's Avid Editing Basics. This video is for new employees, MMJs, photographers, etc., who need to learn how to edit, who don't have familiarity with the Avid system. We're going to go over how to set up everything, the basics of editing, how to get your footage in, and so forth. This is just a refresher video in case you run into a problem, you need to uh, look back and see how to do something. So it's just an aid to help you in your transition and you're uh, starting out here at News 9. So let's get started. All right, so in this video, we are just gonna prepare ourselves for editing in Avid, get the system open, get everything ready before we begin the editing process. So at your desktop, one of the first things you wanna do is make sure all of your drives are mounted. So you can go down in here to the right side to this little up arrow, show hidden icons. And over here, you're gonna find this box that says mounted workspaces. And if you click on that, this is the box that should open up. Now, as you can see here, if you see these little green circles, that means that all of these drives are currently mounted. And so if you log into Avid, all these will be available. And it's very important that you have these mounted before starting Avid, because you're gonna need access to those. Uh, up here under user, this is your login. The first time you open this up on your laptop as uh, the first time, this will be blank. You'll have to log in and it will give you the option to log in with iOS, which you will do. Um, and then these may or may not be mounted. Now to show you, if I click here, I can unmount these. And now this is what it looks like. So not mounted. All these say not mounted. So we want to click on the first one, hold down shift, select them all right click mount now all of the workspaces are mounted and now we can begin to open avid so we will close this and begin opening avid okay so once we open avid this is the first screen that shows up you can see here where um, we have the user up here this will be your username user profile once that's set up it will be here we always want to be on external when we're inside the building and then you see select a project and the box is empty so sometimes this happens and what you need to do is we need to get to the news projects before we start working. And to do that, we're going to click on this little folder up here. And I'm going to bring this over to show you what comes up. And this, this little box here will show up probably on your other screen. And we do use du dual monitors, but for today, we're just going to shoot on one monitor. I'll just go back and forth if I need to. So. We want to scroll down here in this list, in this project directory, and we want to find the drive labeled projects. And we want to click on that, and you'll see a drop down menu. And what we want is the news projects. And we just want to highlight that, and you'll see more drop down. We, we, we don't want to click on anything else, we just want the news projects. And we click OK. And now we have a list of our, our different projects and you'll, there is a project for every day of the week and it's important that you select and edit inside the project for the day you're working on. So you can see Monday through, through Sunday, we have a special projects, a topicals, uh, we have a few others that have been some hold bins, uh, but on a day-to-day -day basis, you're gonna be using one of these daily bins. So today is Tuesday, so I'm gonna click on the Tuesday bin and then down here in the bottom, I'm going to put in my password, which uh, will be one that you'll be given. So let me log in. I hit enter. And as I'm logging in, you'll see over here on the right side, so this little tab turn green. That just means that you're logged in. Then you want to click OK again. And it will say verify project management folder. And it'll give you a uh, two news, two news Tuesday, and we just click OK. Well, before we get started doing anything else, we have to verify that all of our settings are correct. Because if our settings are not correct, then when it comes time to send your story to the show, it's just not going to go anywhere. Or you're going to get all kinds of errors and messages. And sometimes, if you've already gotten along, especially if you've pulled in graphics, there's no way to go back and change it. Avid just will not allow you to send. And then you have to create a lot of workarounds and, and a struggle to get your stuff into the system. So we're gonna take a look at that. So right now, with the layout I have right here, on the top left here, this bin up here, this is my project bin. And you can see it says News Tuesday, my username, and it has a whole bunch of things here. And right now, bins is highlighted, so you see the bins for today. And it's early on in the morning, so there's not much here. 
Um, and to create a new bin, you would just click new bin and label it here. And we will do that in just a second. But first thing we're going to do is highlight this settings tab. And we want to click on the settings. And you're going to see a whole bunch of stuff show up here. To minimize this, to get to what you need, let's go to this little menu. It's called the fast menu. And we're going to just click on the fast menu and click active settings. And this is going to give you a whole list of settings that you can scroll down. And the two most important ones that we were going to check first is we're going to check dynamic relink. It's right here. So we're going to double click on dynamic relink. And this is the window you, that you'll see open. Now we want to unclick, you want to make sure this override working settings is unclicked because we want to have a work settings tab and a target settings tab. On the work settings tab, we want to use closest media. If no match is found, we want to use the closest media. Highest quality, this should all, this is browned out or grayed out so you can't change that, prefer native media, but down here, relink method, this should be specific quality and we want to click apply. Under the target settings tab, we want to make sure that we are relinked to offline. If no match is found, relink to offline. So work, work settings, use closest media, target settings, relink to offline. And then of course you have the specific resolution, AVC Intra 50 is our format. You always want to make sure this is AVC Intra 50, um, preferred native media specific quality. Click OK. So after we've done that, the next setting we want to check is this media creations. And you want to double click that and you get this window shows up. Now up here of drive uh, filtering, this should all be set. You shouldn't have to worry. Capture is HDV 1080. You won't even be using capture. But starting here on titles, video resolution, you want it to be AVC Intra 50 MXF and you want your drive to be your news drive. Now if you click this drop down, you're going to see a whole bunch of different drives here. And we see news drive is the V drive. Now, if you're working on your laptop, there may be two different news drives because your hard drive on your computer may end up be calling news drive as well. You want to make sure that the news drive you select is the in-house production management uh, drive that everybody sees in the entire building. You do not want us to consolidate it to the laptop's personal hard drive. So you want to make sure that, and then you can just hit apply all, apply all, and that should change the settings for all these tabs along the way, they should all be AVC Intra 50. When that's done, you can click OK. So once you've done that, the other thing you really need to do is you need to be able to log into our NRCS tool, or as some of us call it, the NARCS tool. So mine is set up here with this tab. Now within these windows, you can add different tabs to do different things. There's the markers, but the NRCS tool, and what I want to do is I want to connect. Now what the NRCS tool does is this is essentially iNews inside of the Avid Editor. This lets you look at the different shows and different rundowns and find your story, and that's important here in a second. Um, so let's connect to the NRCS tool. We click Connect. By default, it's going to say Editor. That's actually not our, um, our login. The correct username is capital E, Editing. And then I'm going to put in the username, which I'm not going to disclose on this video. You will be given your login. And you, the host name is KWTV-A. So now we're logged into the NRCS tool. And if you scroll down through here, like for instance, show, we will highlight that. We have the 10 o'clock, the 10 o'clock Saturday, 10 o'clock Sunday, 4 o'clock, 5.30, 5 o'clock, 6. They're all through here. There's also some other rundowns and specials and things like that, but all the rundowns in iNews are right here. So this is very important. But before, and before we get started, we are going to create a bin uh, to put our raw video in. So up here in our production window, or our project window, we want to click on bins, and we want to click on new bin. So I'm going to click on that and it's highlighted, so you want, then want to name it. So we're just going to call this uh, Test Project MEJ. So now my bin is open. So now you can see I have a bin open here. Um, and then this is where we're going to import all of our raw clips when it's time to do that. 
This is where um, once this is only where your raw clips will go. This is not your work bin. And we actually have two bins that we work out of. We have a raw bin where we just put our clips and close it and that's it. And then editors and other people can go find your raw video. And then we also have what's called our NRCS bin. That's the bin we're going to work out of. So let's go into a show and let's just grab a story that somebody's working on and I'll show you how you can create not only the, pro the sequence but also the, another bin with the same name as the story um, and why that's important. So we're going to leave this bin open. This is our test project and we're going to go back into the NRCS tool. So down here in the NRCS tool, let's go into, let's say the five o'clock show. We're going to go into the five o'clock and we're going to go to rundown. And then if I slide this over, when you start scrolling through here, you're actually going to see the different stories that we have in our rundown for our uh, newscast today. And we're going to pick one of these that has projects. So right here, this one says Grady's Christmas Lights. So we're going to double click that, and if we double click it, if something were written, you would see something written here. The script would be here. Uh, if you can click on the one above it and see there's, there's, they, they've got the shots set up for the studio, but nothing's been written for this story yet. We're going to go back here to the package because that's what we're going to be editing is the package. So once we have this double clicked and you see this in here, the package in here, up here, you're going to see a little sequence icon. It says create sequence. Now, if I create, if I just click this, it's going to create a sequence with this name up here in this bin that I created. But I don't want to do that. I want to create a bin and a sequence. So what I'm going to do is where I'm highlighted over this create sequence, you can see that it says, when you highlight over top, it says shift creates bin. So what I'm going to do is hold shift and click this sequence. And what you get next is a bin with the same name as the story down in the NRCS tool. And it has a sequence already created with this NRCS or uh, the same name as in the NRCS tool. Why it's important to do this before editing your story. This, this sequence is where you're going to edit your story. And the reason it's important to create it through the NRCS is because when you create your bin or create a sequence through the NRCS, it already has the... Uh, the video ID attached to it. So what happens is in iNews, as producers are writing, they assign video IDs to the different lines for VOs, for SOTs, for packages. You cannot send your story to, to air without that video ID. By creating your bin and your sequence through the NRCS, it's already there and you don't have to worry about it. But if you were to try to send this, uh, if you were to create it manually, then when you before you would send, you would have to manually enter your video ID and they can be very complex long numbers. So you always want to create your bin to work in in the NRCS tool. And so then what you can see here that I've done is I have my raw video bin is here and this is my work bin for my story. All my raw video is going to be here but this is where effects, mix downs, everything, any kind of Anything else, graphics, all goes in here, in this work bin, not the raw bin. Um, and that's how we've set up, now we've got two bins set up, ready to go. So that's, how, that's it for the initial setup and preparing to edit your story. In the next video, we'll go over actually ingesting video and the basics of editing some shortcuts and just the simple process of laying down sound bites and video in a timeline.